hello. And stuff has happened. So what's up? A 25 year oof is among us. A research lab in Troy, New York is suing a cleaning company because back in 2020, somebody from the cleaning company unplugged a refrigerator that held specimens from a 25 year long research project. The fridge apparently was rigged up to an alarm that was making just an annoying beeping sound. And so they unplugged it and that destroyed 25 years of research. And now the research lab is suing the cleaning company seeking a million dollars in damages to restart their work. I cannot blame them. I, I, I don't like beeping sounds, but also like, oof, like, oh, like, ooh. It sucks. Anyway, the very big boy court made decisions. The, the Supreme Court, the big, the super big one in the United States, they made some decisions yesterday and more decisions are coming later this week. Among the biggest of decisions that the big pants court did, uh, they said that, that states can't just kind of usurp federal elections. Let me explain. So back when Trump was trying to be like, hey, I won the election despite losing the election, there was a whole bunch of states that were like, we're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore what the voters did and we're gonna send our own representatives to, to vote for Trump. Glossing over a ton of legal theory, uh, they think that that's just a real thing. And the Supreme Court said, no, no. <laughs> Literally their argument was that state legislatures should be able to overrule state constitutions. What's a constitution then? The Court of Columns also said that Louisiana's district map is, is indeed very racist, and they're not taking up an argument from Republicans to try to stop adding just the second majority black district to Louisiana. Imagine trying to argue in good faith that a map of Louisiana with one majority black district makes sense. Gerrymandering is really cool. It's, it's really it's really cool. Anyway, he said the thing that we thought he said, uh, the uh, Trump did. The recent indictment of Donald Trump included a reference to a recording where he said, I have documents that are classified that I shouldn't have and can't declassify. And then he showed those documents off to other people in the room. But we have new information because we now have the recording. You have probably already heard the recording, possibly from a fish. It's basically one-to-one -one with what the transcript said it was. But at the very end, Trump asks if somebody can bring some cokes into the room. Just casually showing off confidential papers about war plans to people who don't have clearances. Can someone get me a coke? Anyway, yeah, shocker. Uh, he, it's just, it, he just, he did exactly the thing the indictment said. Uh, there was then an interview in which he said that he hasn't seen the recording and then also described parts of the recording. <laughs> so. I mean, you know, make of that what you will. I need you to stay focused on my goofy pants because this next segment is a bummer. Pacific Island nations are literally disappearing from planet Earth due to climate change. Rising sea levels are essentially just shrinking their island borders until one day they might just be gone. And so what do you do if you are a person, if you are a people who live on these islands and have thousands of years of history here. And then like some oil executives really wanted a big paycheck. So they, you know, hid the facts about global warming and downplayed it and bought politicians. And now unrelated, your island is disappearing. Well, a group of these island nations have been, you know, planning for this, you know, that makes sense, right? And they're currently asking if, hey, if, if our island goes away, we should still have like, you know, representation as a nation. And so they're soliciting legal experts to chime in and sort of, help build frameworks around that. They've previously pushed about like, hey, we should at least keep the borders of the water where our island used to be. This has been ongoing for a long time. Like this is not breaking news. This is just a long, slow burn, but it's important to take another look at it and listen. When they're saying help, did the shorts help? Did, the, did, they, did, they, did they make it easier? On this day in the year 1911, the Nakla meteorite fell in Egypt. It was a meteorite from Mars, and it was the first meteorite that gave us proof of some kind of water system going on on Mars, which is pretty cool. Also, according to legend, it landed on a dog and just kind of obliterated it. That's, that's not confirmed, so you can have your own head cannon, uh, but hug your dog, lightning round. There have been multiple cases of locally acquired malaria detected in the United States, specifically in Florida and Texas. They are legit making an Among Us TV show. Some Google executives have acknowledged that Google search results have not been super great since the Reddit blackout started. TikTok is removing their TikTok Now feature, which was a clone of Be Real, which was an app that nobody cares about anymore. In an earnings call, the Nintendo chief executive mentioned that they want to make the transition between the Switch and their next console as seamless as possible. And I don't know if that means a Switch 2, uh, but I hope it means Switch 2. Ryan Seacrest is replacing Pat Sajak on Wheel of Fortune as Pat Sajak is retiring. 
There's been a lot of trouble in the sky with airplane scheduling. I mean, I guess not in the sky, mostly on the ground. Uh, but the FAA and the CEO of United are just kind of beefing. Twitter launched a sort of TikTok-like feature where you can swipe up to get more videos. Uh, but it turns out that the videos on Twitter just mean that you get a feed of horrifying shit. I should probably mention the mutiny that happened in Russia, but I mean, it's been covered and it's kind of over. Uh, but they did mention that multiple pilots were killed. So, you know. Android rolled out a new feature that lets you like mash the power button to automatically call emergency services. And it has been flooding emergency services with silent calls. Here's the weather. Jesse Waters is taking over the time slot on Fox News where Tucker Carlson used to be. Speaking of pieces of garbage, Mike Pence wants to control your uterus. He, he reaffirmed that <laughs> overturning Roe wasn't far enough and we need to have a nationwide ban. I can't even begin to get into this in full, but the state troopers of West Virginia are somehow more bastardy than your average cop. Another billionaire died in his race car. He crashed it and died. And finally for today, TikTok has a new feature where creators can compete to make ads for companies and hope to get payouts from it. Really living the dream. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Stuff Keeps Happening. Head to stuffkeepshappening.online for sources, bonus content, and a pair of these shorts. Uh, my name is Endeavorance. I'm streaming tonight. I'm playing more Paper Mario on my Twitch. Come check it out. I'll be back on Friday. Take care and be well.